I'm Muntu Valdo, born in Cameroon, from Cameroon, now living in UK, in East London, Great Britain. Yes. I hope you guys will love what I've done and uh, you love the music and you, you know, anyway for me it's just a great testimony to music to what people can do with music and to what music do with people. So I found myself in Bahrain, um, enjoying myself totally, 100% as a musician. So I can be thankful enough anyway for those, to those people who organize these sessions. Uh, on behalf of musicians who've been here maybe before me or who are about to come here, I'll say a big thank you to the people who own the studio and who invited me here. Why Sour Blues? Because um, the music we're playing in the rural part from where I was born, you know, in the, in the coast of Cameroon, people who live by the sea and everything, they call themselves Sour. So I'm a Sour, I'm a sour boy, Sour person. And you have type of traditional music there that you call Esewe. And, um, yeah, and go so bolobo, it reminds you of the blues. But now it's very common that the similarities between what um, slaves doing or did, you know, with the music and the one we still find in Africa now in many, many parts. So this is why when, when, I, want, when I was showcasing my music in France um, more than 10 years ago, uh, people were asking me, but which kind of blues are you playing? Which kind of music? I say, I'm not playing blues, man. I'm just playing my music. You say Cameroonian music, maybe, maybe not, but because the, pop, the, popular, the popular Cameroonian music they do, do not, does not sound like my music. So I say, no, this proper Cameroonian music is not, is not pop Cameroonian music. It's Cameroonian music that you listen in women playing villages and, and everything. So they say, but we cannot call your music Malian blues or desert blues because this is a trend. So can we, because you're sour boy, can we call your music sour blues? I say, it's up to you. I don't have a name there. So this is how they started. Sour blues, sour blues. So my, yeah, my music sour blues. Yeah, so this is the story of Cameroon as far as I'm concerned, um, musically um, related to me. But you have other great artists I will who've done quite almost the same music, you know, I was, I'll say names like Ebo Alotin, like Be um, Francis Bebe, you know, like Charles Lembe, and you also have young artists who do kind of still the same music. People like Richard Bona is not doing the, the popular Cameroonian music that people who dance in clubs. He's doing what could be considered a sour blues as well, because it's he used the same language as mine, the Sawa language, which is a Dwala, and, uh, and also he plays music influenced by traditional music like Bolobo, Isewe, you know, Ngoso, um, all this type of music, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> French food or English food? Um, bit tricky. Uh, Neither I, I would say Cameroonian food or Bahraini food. <laughs> Why? He's really got this down. Uh, why? Because uh, um, uh, maybe because the, the, the weather is kind of the same, so maybe the spices yeah. are kind of the same. So um, uh, Cameroonian food is a bit spicy, have more flavor, a bit like Bahraini food. I have nothing against. English or French food, but they be flat in my palais, in my, how can I say it? But I enjoy it, it's nice food as well. What is the first music I bought with my own money and feel proud of doing so? Uh, actually, it's a bit difficult. I have to go deep in my memory because um, I remember that I bought some cassette for my dad, and but for me, I think is um, is a cassette from a guy called Stefan Dias, a Cameroonian singer who is who is who is who has something special with his voice. 
I don't know if he, if it was him or Bob Marley, but I think it might be him. But but I would say Bob Marley was also one of the early, the first you know music I, I bought. I would say Bob Marley and Stefan Dias because I, I'm not sure I bought one cassette. Just the first time I bought, I, I might have bought those two, Stefan Dias and Bob Marley. What is the last piece of music I bought with my money? Very, very difficult. Uh, wow. As a musician, a musician, I've been, people offered me so many, so much music. I, let me think. Who? I think is a CD from Fela. Fela Kuti. Um, Fela Kuti is um, the musician from Nigeria, and he was a he used he was a kind of politician figure. He used protest song. He is he was he one of the greatest musician in the world because he invented a rhythm called a rhythm called Afrobeat. Now he's recognized all over. I bought um, um, I won't say because you had something like three or four discs in the it was a box. Yeah, and you had a DVD there. I think this is the last I bought because, and this this was not like two days ago. It was maybe three years ago or four years ago because it was just released. But in the meantime, I've been offered music, you know, all the time. People offer me music, maybe because they know I'm a musician, colleagues or families, you know. So, and I have a big collection of music. So, but the, now I know it's Fela. That when I bought Fela Kuti. Is my pedal board going to be bigger and bigger or become small? Um, um, my pedal board, I don't know. I can't predict. It's a bit like friendship or relationships. You know, I have a lot of friends. Sometimes I work, I hang out with a few. Sometimes I spend a lot of time without hanging out with some. Some I don't call for a month. Some um, they're a bit like this. Sometimes take just one pedal, because actually it's a pedal ball. You can deconstruct it and you can assemble it as well. So, uh, but I'm not I'm not sure it's gonna be bigger as a pedal board. But they could have other friends adding to them, so I could connect other. But they won't be part of the pedal board. They will just be added on. I can remove one pedal for a special, you know, need. And yeah, it's like, you know, it's like they've reached the adult life. So you know, an adult don't grow. You know, maybe become fatter or, you know, or grayer, but like them, they, they, they will lose maybe some of the spa or something, but yeah, no, they won't grow. One of the first memory, early memories as a, as a child growing up is the first time I played a guitar. It was a very old guitar with maybe two or three strings, but broken from a friend. Uh, I was about eight years old, something, eight or nine years old, and uh, yeah, because I've seen people playing guitar or other instruments, you know, in my, in my neighborhood. But the first time I took that guitar, I still have that memory here. Yeah. So this is one of the few memories that stick here in my mind of the early stages, you know, of my life. This is related to the music, but for life in general, um, I remember that I used to like playing football a lot. This was uh, is a bit. It was even more than food because we played football more than we ate when I was a kid in Cameroon, in the in the dust, you know, open, open, open play. Yeah. So this is why I said music, football. I would just say I was really happy to be here because I know we'll leave soon, but uh, I would like to come back. Yeah, this one I would say. Oh, I'll I'll encourage, I will no encourage way. people who would like to come to Bahrain to come because there will good weather, 
and they will be very welcome because here I've learned that Bahrain is one of the very friendly and open country in the Middle East. So we just spent one day here and I've learned that, two days I've learned that. So I encourage anybody who wants to come here to come.